So for simulation, as we've seen, what we what we do is we get our test bench to drive the inputs, typically using randomized stimulus. So that's the whole basis of UVM, which is using system Verilog and Spectrum, which came before it. So we're expecting these assertions to monitor, you know, expected behavior, forbidden behavior, and that protocols are being followed on industry standard buses and proprietary buses. So typically you write them about the, how the interfaces are behaving, how the, you know, the pointers are behaving in a FIFO, how a state machine's behaving. Those are typical things you would write assertions about. And the covers are there to monitor and report how many times a specific sequence was seen. So for example, did my state machine make an arc through state one, state three, and state seven? How many times did that happen? Because that represents functionally something important. For formal verification, you don't have anything driving the inputs other than the tool. Okay, so conceptually, the tool is driving the inputs in any way it wishes to try and cause an assertion to fail. So these properties which define how the inputs are allowed to behave are SVA properties. And what we do is we apply what's called a verification directive to them. So these are known as assumptions. If we assume a property, it means that property defines how the inputs are allowed to behave. Now, these don't mean anything in, in simulation, of course, because in simulation, you do have something driving the inputs, which is your test bench. So the simulator will automatically turn assumptions, which are used informal, into asserts.